So this is our live broadcast. This is the Space Marines <laughs> bolt gun. All right, that's that's enough. We we can continue now. So, will you continue to aid me? Yes, of course. The portal in the room downstairs connects to the endless library of Apocrypha. Once there, head northwest and meet me at Cipher's Midden. Our research Cyphers begins there. Midden. Since Curate Gadain is intent on recovering the relic, he shall accompany us. Cipher's Midden. Okay. Where better to hide oblivion portals than inside a ruined bookshop? This is just one of many studies I utilize across Tamriel. I even have a site in Apocrypha from which I can conduct my research. In Cyphers Midden, to be exact. Not enough. Drawless could be counted among their number, along with the Arcanists who fought beside him when you defeated them. They are Daedric cultists devoted to rival princes. Their cooperation relates directly to the threat Mora has foreseen. The unraveling of reality, Hermaeus <laughs> Oracle. Nice. All because Vermina, Periite, and Torvisard seek to find a dream remembered only in Apocrypha. We must ferret out why. Hopefully the knowledge stored in Cypher's Midden will aid our investigation. So, so basically, uh, Torvesart is Daedric Lord, not the Daedric Prince. Daedric Princes are most powerful beings. and But Daedric Lords are can be pretty, pretty powerful on their own merits. So that's... The Cyphers of the Eye established the site as a headquarters of sorts. These mortals have come to Apocrypha at the invitation of Hermaeus Mora. They maintain and study the many libraries of the realm. It is both a refuge and a place of learning. Hermaeus Mora selected you to help preserve reality from a threat he foresaw. Your ability to alter destiny and fate makes you instrumental in the struggle ahead. We learn that a secret Vermina and Periite seek threatens both Apocrypha and Yeah, yep, because probably the meta meta explanation is, is that it's probably going to wake up uh, Godhead. Vermina, the Daedric Prince of Dreams, and Periite, the Daedric Prince of Pestilence. They set aside their animosities to challenge Hermaeus Mora, the Prince of Fate. They pursue a secret they believe is connected to whatever offense Mora committed. Because Hermaeus Mora has foreseen that if they reveal this secret, reality itself will unravel, destroying not only the realm of fate, but our world as well. That would be regrettable. This appears to be related to Torvasard's lost dream. Torvasard is a Dremora without a clan. He seems to be the linchpin that negotiated the alliance between Vermina and Periite. All because he believes his lost dream concerns some wrong they think the one who knows perpetrated against them. Dremora. Well, he, he sounds more like a Daedric Lord. But then again, you, you... Curate Gadain, are you certain you wish to accompany us? Absolutely. The relic is my responsibility. Let me just grab a few essentials. I'll be right back. Fate provides the aid we need, Proxy. We will meet you at Cypher's Midden. Dreams and fate and secrets capable of destroying reality? What have you and Sharoni Barrow gotten me into? 
Well, unless you toss away my soul gem, I've got no choice but to go with you. Lucky me. Okay, so it's at the middle of the upper curve, basically. You? A moment of your time? Greetings! You have a sharp look to you, traveler. My name is Azander. I'm an arcanist, and I'm hoping we can help each other out. I've decades of esoteric knowledge, a bit of coin, and a convivial attitude. What do you say? I'd like your help tracking down a former associate of mine. I was attempting to create a relic of great power, and now find my fate frayed, for lack of a better term. I call this relic the Fate Weaver Key. Martina was a brilliant collaborator, and may be able to identify where I went wrong. To find her, we'll need to find a tome, summon a Daedra, and brave the terrors of Apocrypha. What do you say? Join me in an exploration into the unknown. I'm looking forward to our collaboration. Okay, so the, he's, said, he's we'll possible need a book companion. On danger summoning to get us on the right track. Let's convene in the center of Cypher's Midden. Is there anything I can clarify for you before we begin? That mystic phenomenon I was struggling with? I'm calling them frayed fates. They're echoes from a choice I once made. My work to create the Fate Weaver Key has snarled them up. So untidy. If I'm ever to perfect the key, I'll need to unfray my fate. <laughs> what? What are you trying to do with this Fate Weaver Key? It's not my fault. I mean, <clears throat> I was attempting to peer beyond the veil of reality, much as Hermaeus Mora does, to gaze upon other fate lines. It would have been brilliant. Should have spent more time developing my Infralux notation. Just think, what could you learn by looking beyond your own life? At the paths unwalked? What kernels of truth could you hold with such a tool? I hope to gain knowledge about myself, about the universe. Why? about the very nature of mortality. Hmm. A simplistic example. Not all choices are equal. But if the choice to have oatmeal instead of eggs change the course of your life, think of them like divergence points and everything you could learn seeing the might have beens play out. A good question. I need to reset. Return to the roots of my research to unravel this issue. That's why I'm hoping to find my old colleague. Their name was Martina Abor, a talented researcher, though we've since parted ways. My hope is that a Daedric consultant, a watcher named Tim, will know where they are. The book will lead us to Tim, you see. Thankfully, the ciphers of the Eye have given me access to their stacks. Ha! An excellent question. I'm a scholar of esoterica, eldritch secrets, and things mortals were not meant to know. Fine, I hope you. I'm an arcanist of the highest order, proud to say, resting the power of Apocrypha into my quill-gnarled hands, as you do. He, he could be a pretty useful companion because he's, he's an arcanist, arcanist which is, is the new class, class sure. of characters. But we're all devotees to abstruse arcanum. 
Individual proclivities aside, from mad hermits raving about tentacles to precision room crafters, I consider myself a scholar, first and foremost. And not a mad hermit. Okay. The stacks aren't far at all. I'll see you there. Do be careful. Don't rush about and scatter the dust. Some of my cohorts dislike the work of the expungatory, but I find it quite soothing, especially after the rigors of field work. My book on... Uh, oh no. I'm guilty of authoring that nonsense, yes. A journeyman effort from several centuries ago. If you have it, please take it with you. It is trash. This is the expungatory, an important hub in our settlement. Here, palimpsests are recycled for reuse. Scrolls are scraped clean of old sigils, ready to be used again in a new and potent arcane working. The expunged spells are still quite potent, so we hold them for a time to allow their energies to dissipate naturally. If you must, feel free to search the rune piles for your summoning ritual. And let me return to my work. Above the moon of Massa. <laughs> okay. Mag magical book. Beyond sweet oblivion is snared within the ruins of my dark love. I like reading too, you know. Such it's drivel in some of these old spells. Lucky fetcher. They only ever seem to find musty grain and spuds. I wonder what's the main hub of this area, actually. I haven't found the town yet from uh, Apocrypha. Usually every every area has like some place that you can actually have like a, a outlaws hideout and every every crafting place. Like in Gold Harbor it's this hollow city which is the main hub. In Deshaun it's it's um, Mornhold. And, and so on, and so on. One, one thing I actually like Elder Scrolls that uh, online definitely is that we have these locales that are something that you should find they are interesting places but they don't have a other game function they are not crafting places they are, they, they might be like be like, like something something pretty or something weird like this one. Places with the story. Hang around. Okay. And, and most of these are never used in quests, so it's just an interesting place. So, uh, in their game design, they have been trying to take uh, developers, Jenny Max, uh, have, have tried to reward the actual exploration in, in many ways. Uh, why, why did you attack him? Okay, 
Okay, that that was weak seeker, I think. Kinda kinda used to that seeker so much much more powerful. Seeker talent. Apparently, floating rocks are quite popular. With RTX shader, this might be a pretty, pretty okay place. I don't have a Elder Scrolls Online RTX shader on currently because it's kind of breaking, breaking and havoc with these other, other systems that are using using the graphics card like Be like on. this this one here it's a, rtx is card is actually mine. cutting the background away did you hear never mind welcome this should be most illuminating ah my new collaborator he's not Good to doing see you well again. by mora's eyes these frayed fates are becoming increasingly annoying I look forward to putting them to bed, as it were. Do you have the items we need to summon our Daedric consultant? Hearless work! Let's see, here's the i -Core. Unpleasant to gather, but I've done worse in my day. Now then, I'll light the fonts and begin the incantation. As we go, I'll need you to offer up the Tome Dust, Talon, and i -Core. In that order. Uh, Tome Dust, Talon, and i -Core. Just so. With any luck, this Tim can tell us where the whims of fate have led Martina. If this doesn't work, well, I'm sure I'll think of something. But let's hope it works, eh? Onward! We light the flames to summon Tim, the omen of destiny. Come before us! There is trouble. Ask your questions, make your offerings. We offer the dust of an ancient spell. I seek the location of my former colleague, Martina Abor. So, Tom Trust. Uh, do I need to... Okay, apparently I can't mess this up. Tim's eyes have seen you, Asander Alcibiades. You search for one who does not wish to be found. Recalcitrant, are we? We offer the Talon of a Seeker. I need Martina to correct an error. Where are they? Fate, mortal. Tem sees a darkness approaching. One you have unmoored. Daedra, I have called, and you must answer. With Igor as payment, I, I command you. Present from Beck. Where can I find Martina Abor? That was advanced box, I so I, I should take it. But not to you, Arcanist. Tem will speak with the one who made the offerings. Okay. The audacity of that creature! Yep. Tem sees you, chosen proxy of the Great Eye. Adventures, triumphs that have happened, or may happen, or may never happen. Speak, and Tem will tell you what you wish to know. The choices of Xander Alcibiades hang heavy about him. Reeking from stains on his hands and his soul. Also, he speaks with a distinct lack of respect for Tem, the omen of destiny. Martina Abor, Arcanist of the Abyssal Sea and Illuminatus of the Threads of Fate, 
retreated to their sanctum 920 days ago. Seek them within the sub-realm known as the Underweave, at a place called the Heart. The Arcanist you travel with sought to view the paths unwalked, but failed to see where those paths led. In his hubris, he has allowed a thing that should not be to be. Questions asked and answered. Farewell, mortals. That, that, that sounds a lot like the oh, Umbra. Went rather well. It seems we're off to the Underweave. Oh, exciting! The Underweave is a powerful nexus of faded potential in Chroma Incognito. Terribly powerful and terribly dangerous. Sounds just like Martina to set up a lab there. Onward and upward! Hmm. Am I? No, not particularly. Daedra are strange beasts, you know. Their concept of mortality, time, and danger are very different from our own. Clearly, there have been some unintended consequences, but nothing the two of us can't handle. Given the focus of our research, it makes perfect sense. Fate itself pulses through the corridors of the Underweave, and its tradition for powerful arcanists to establish a sanctum. I have one myself, you know. <laughs> Quite proud of it. You must understand, I have been studying arcane ephemera for decades now. The Underweave is just so... obvious, and I try very hard not to be boring. Plus, it's extremely dangerous in there. Fate shifts like the tides of the Abyssal Sea. A thing can be both dangerous and boring. The universe contains multitudes. I truly believed I would be able to master fate itself without entering its walls. <laughs> Vexing to have been proven wrong. We were excellent collaborators. Together we gathered power from across the Daedric realms. But in the end, she had very different goals than I do. If nothing else, damn it, I want to have some fun. Ta! Yes, of that I have no doubt. Martina is a consummate professional. Just don't get her started on the transliminal properties of <laughs> exogenic materials or the writings of Denel Gorath, the dread archivist. We'll be there all day. Well, this is interesting. I'm going to take a picture. Will certainly flay me for this. Under me. Okay, so it's a public dungeon. Ah, have mercy! You've been sent to capture me, haven't you? It was an honest mistake. I'm working to get Hermaeus Mora's faded glyphic back. I promise. Please don't imprison me. Oh, fathomless prince, that's a relief. I think I let myself be spooked by a mere mortal. Yeah, sorry. You see, I may have accidentally sent a prized possession of my masters to be unwoven. I don't suppose you'd help, poor Ogle. The forges of Underweave are a dangerous place. Ogle was made for watching and studying, not fighting. But you seem resilient. Help me find my master's faded glyphic, and I'll be sure to make it worth your while. Wonderful. My master's treasure was mistakenly marked for unweaving, so we must hurry and find it before it's destroyed. My watchling's sight should help you navigate Underweave. The entrance is close by. You can take the lead. Faded glyphics whose futures do not come to pass can latch onto our own reality and cause havoc. These uh -huh. intrusions are, well, wasteful. Underweave is the place where these failed fates are unwoven, recycled. A faded glyphic is the physical manifestation of a potential fate. A stone that holds a transcription of a possible future. And they are a powerful and precious source of knowledge. This particular glyphic is one of my master's favorites. Tides, no! Most fates don't rise to this level of importance. Only potent fates, those with the chance to alter the very course of the planes, can be found etched into these glyphics. This makes Every fated glyphic, a powerful and coveted object. You can call me Ogle. I'm a watchling in service to Hermaeus Mora. 
I aid in the designation or disintegration of failed fates. It's a coveted role, I might add, and one that I don't wish to risk losing. Okay. I actually played a uh, World of Warcraft Classic when, when the new version came out, and it was interesting that in that game you could find a quest for the dungeon from totally different, <laughs> totally different uh, continent, which is like so. In, in that they they didn't offer you the quest at the right at the door. Like they do in this Not game. Not to belabor the obvious, but we'll need to be careful here. We should make haste to the heart of the Underweave and find Martina's sanctum. Onward and upward! The Fate Weaver key is palpitating, pulling me off to the east. Fascinating. Something in Martina's sanctum must be synergizing with the relic. Let's find that laboratory. Maybe they had like two dangerous research. Mortal, you won't get far without my boon to guide you through Underweave. The heart of the Master keeps the most dangerous fates down here. Of course it would be difficult to navigate. Numerous paths, endless options. This was a hopeless endeavor from the start. I'm a useless watchling who deserves to be unwoven. The Master's faded glyphic could be anywhere. It may have even been fed into one of the Nemesis looms already. This is it for me, mortal. Cherish the moments you shared with Adel, because I am not long for this plane. The Nemesis looms unmake everything. By now, the glyphic's been reduced to unwoven strands, sputtering fragments of a former fate. I just know it. There are too many paths to follow. I, I need a moment to think, mortal. This is all too much. It's no use. I'm done for. Wait, what is that? One same pleasant surprise. I'm actually happy to see you, this, this guy. My work in the streams has come to fruition. But never mind. I was wondering this if this is some kind of time agent the first basically. Time? You'll be pleased to learn you're just in time to help me. I know where the fated glyphic is, so there's no need for that silly boon. Besides, you look ridiculous. Ah, oh, this again. You may not have met me yet, but I've met you. I am quite familiar with you and your meddling antics. Now, let's focus on the matter at hand. It's very important that I don't miss my chance to access Mora's fated glyphic. Forces beyond your understanding ordained that I must come into possession of this glyphic. Since Hermaeus Mora rarely lets such a valuable object leave his personal collection, I simply charmed the Watchling into misplacing it. Yes, yes, I... Deceived the Watchling. How morally gray of me. Listen closely. You need me to locate the Glyphic for your Daedric friend. However, the Nemesis looms make my presence here tenuous. If you can shut them off, you'll help everyone. Good! You're always one for action, aren't you? The Nemesis looms are powerful devices that unweave bits of reality. For example, these failed fates. You'll find them contained in the Nulla Factory, just ahead, past the cells. I'll meet you there. Thaddeus Cosma, a traveler on tides of time and reality. But it really isn't important. 
Well, that's not to say I'm not important. I am, but that's neither now nor when. All you need to know is that when our paths cross, reality itself may be at stake. We actually met this guy in Greymore, but with, with a different character. So that's why uh, my character hasn't, hasn't met him. If it's any consolation, Watchling, you performed your role admirably. Now, to the Nemesis Looms! It will take the two of us to disable each loom. My role? I didn't play any role in... Hey! Get back here! This, this is so fun. <laughs> Weird, weird fantasy. Nemesis loom that unravels the destiny. Okay. There you are. Disable that mechanism, and I'll do the same here. That should deactivate the loom. Does it have a on-off button? There is only one role I play. And it's in service to the Prince of Knowledge. How dare you imply otherwise? <laughs> Mora's clerk objects. I'm terrified. Come now, meddler. On to the next loom. He likes to teleport around. Interesting how, how super powerful Hermes Mora is depicted in this DLC. The next mechanism, please. Interesting uh, style to teleport away. Some some kind of side side base walking. Basically, uh, changing the world to another. Apparently, uh, Elder Scrolls has has uh, lots of what weird fiction. Britain and uh, yeah, we, we know couple couple uh, other places like no, no, no. The di different Olympic. different uh, realities. But not ideal, but not unexpected. Meddler, a word if you please. Not ideal. It's unfortunate we couldn't reach the glyphic before its unweaving, but all is not lost. If we work quickly, yes, we should be able Dwemer to salvage armor. the magics still held within the fractured glyphic. I'll need your assistance once more, of course. This guy could uh, actually be Dwemer. There's, there's a, so, some chance that it's, it's possible. I took steps to prepare for this possibility. The benefit of shutting down the Nemesis Looms was twofold. It allowed me to maintain a more stable presence in this realm, and... It unhindered my spell casting abilities. I would actually like to like to see if if uh, he has pointed the ears, because Dwemer are Dwemer are basically elves. Farmers are actually elves. Let's go. Or or well well 
they were. Dwarves are not a thing in Elder Scrolls. We'll yeah, take the vanished, vanished race. To the heart of Underweave. There, I should be able to siphon enough energy to restore it. But be prepared. The heart may be heavily guarded. Bring what's left of the Glyphic and meet me there, meddler. Let's hurry along then. The heart of Underweave can be found to the south on the other side of the courtyard. I'll meet you there. Just wade across the detritus of failed fates and go up the steps. Can't miss it. First of all, the active nemesis looms muddied my sight. I had no way to know where the Glyphic was. Secondly, there's no use in crying over spilled fates. The sooner we get to the heart, the sooner we can put this all behind us. It's a simple matter of temporal reversal. With the looms no longer temporal operating, reversal. I'll be able to draw on the full power of the Underweave. In fact, do you have any wine you'd like rapidly aged? <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's course. useful. Let's get moving. Okay, so same place has two quests. Which is totally fine for me. Good, you found us. Place the fractured glyphic on the altar. There's not a moment to lose. What's there? It further. Quick! Grab the glyphic before the entropic bubble collapses. It's back. My master's hated glyphic is really bad. Really puts a kink in your neck. Let's reconvene outside Underweave. I'm sure this display of temporal magic raised a few alarms. Yes, yes. Let's leave before the guards come and take Adam away. Uh, okay, this this guy we met first time. Uh, this time time travel guy in a in a Greymore where they were like Dwemer time machine that didn't work out so well. And and it's like interesting because time travel should be super rare in the Elder Scrolls. So I was surprised that they actually uh, included this kind of Doctor Who kind of character into this. The unseen are a mystery. And we can actually check the second quest one while we are in here. But yeah, so, sometimes it's it's really big surprise. But the uh, writers writers uh, of the of the ESO actually actually are allowed to do. Okay, seekers are some somehow pushovers <laughs> in this realm, while they are super tough in in a Telvani Peninsula. Ah, oh, sorry. She has been here like two years, so I don't think she's anymore like in a in a in a, uh, in a normal state at least. Tina, dead. Yeah, I had hoped. Oh, why must the most brilliant among us fall to curiosity's blade? Take a look around, if you don't mind. I need a moment. No idea what that concoction is. Curious. Failed magic. Oh, yeah, <laughs> failed ma magic test. I, I can't believe Martina's dead. She was, well, strange, but one of the best colleagues an old man could ever ask for. <clears throat> uh, let's let's focus. Uh, we're here to do a job. 
Look for notes or a journal, would you? It's worth my eroding sanity. No in endless knowledge as long I'm willing to seek them out. I have uh, able to identify the treasure. Just like home. <laughs> Just like home. Uh. I see them everywhere and I go know my forlorn unmade choices. A drop of my blood connects me to these unrealized potentialities. They say that fates are blood bound to an individual. I know it. I can smell the drift now. I can wonder the drifting fate, tides of fate. Never to worry, never again. I've done it on Sun Island. Knowledge of all of it. Martino Sound safe. That may be helpful to our inquiry. Perhaps you uh, might find something on her remains. Come, come. Let's talk. I uh, wish I could say this was the first time I found an old friend dead, but I cannot. From the spell lattice surrounding them, I believe Martina's research may have followed a similar path to my own. Let's take a look at that journal. Hmm. Martina says here she could somehow scry for the fates frayed from her timeline. Fascinating. She experimented with several different methods, uh, including using her own blood. It's messy, dangerous, but perhaps effective. Yes, yes, I believe so. I have some thoughts that need to germinate, and I'd like to dispel this ward. Take care of Martina. <clears throat> Let's retire to my rooms at Cypher's Midden, near the Way Shrine. I'll see you there, my canny colleague. I'll see you back at Cypher's Midden, my perspicacious collaborator. Just need to see to Martina. <laughs> he has his words. <laughs> research, of course. Always research. Just like in the old days. Martina and I were excellent collaborators. I was the gab, the talker, the trader. But Martina was the silent strength, astute observations after lengthy contemplation. I'm not quite sure. I think perhaps she was trying to manipulate fate itself. But I'd have to examine Martina's notes to fully understand what happened here. Martina was as nimble-witted as anyone I've ever met, and stubborn as the Abyssal Sea. Now, if she thought they could twist fate itself, nothing would slow them down. Changing the fate lines is something not even Hermaeus Mora himself can do. I'm an arse. It seems wrong to coat the truth in moon sugar standing over Martina's final work. I can be challenging to know, and worse to work with. Martina put up with me for the better part of five years. Longer than anyone else. I hope I can honor Martina's memory somehow. I'll see you back at Cypher's Midden. Well, oh, that's a bit sad, but not not total not totally unforeseen. Glad to see you didn't stumble into a hole in reality, meddler. I know our many-eyed friend wants his glyphic back. Allow me a moment to study it, will you? I suppose he earned a look. But only for a moment. I'd like it returned before my master realizes it's missing. You really do make an invaluable field assistant, meddler. Even your watchling friend here played his part expertly. Now please, the glyphic. I can't stand to wait any longer. Curious. I've handled my fair share of faded glyphics, but... Something about this one seems almost familiar. 
like a tone ringing at the edge of my memory. A song, perhaps. A lullaby? How very strange. It's no secret my travels take me far and wide. I go to places far beyond what a simple compass or map might show. And in my travels, I heard an interesting rumor that the Prince of Knowledge had found a special fate. My fate, in fact. I believe it does. Whether it's one fate of many or a singular inevitable fate, I won't know until I activate it. Funny, after all this, I find myself hesitating. Give me a moment, meddler. Perhaps take this time to calm your watchling friend. Hmm. It's not a good idea to look at your own fate. I wonder why my master is so fond of that particular one. Uh, speaking of fate, you certainly helped me salvage my own. To think I came this close to being tossed into the Nemesis looms. I wish I could say I enjoyed our adventure together, mortal. However, well, you and I definitely both know it's, it's it was a far too distressing to special, be Special fun. fate Still, if this it's something for the guy who is like Take Doctor Who. You earned it. 